I think the three primary reasons why somebody should uh, seek treatment at COPE are first, we have been treating eating disorders for more than 30 years, so we have the expertise necessary to um, work with uh, a range of eating disorder presentations. Um, we uh, have expertise to work with um, children, adolescents, adults, uh, males, females, um, and individuals with all forms of eating pathology. And finally, um, COPE is one of the nation's few eating disorder specialty programs that's housed in an academic medical center. And that really sets us apart from the competition in terms of our ability to work effectively with a broad range of eating disorder presentations. We have uh, many research programs going on, and so our patients benefit from the education and ongoing research um, that occur um, here at COPE and throughout the UPMC hospital. So the treatment team at COPE includes uh, a range of specialists. We have psychiatrists, psychologists, social workers, uh, other medical professionals, uh, and dietitians. Um, and each of these individuals um, works with uh, patients to uh, address um, uh, nutrition stabilization and medical stabilization, to um, address the psychological aspects of eating disorders, the weight and shape concerns, as well as um, other mental health problems that often go along with eating disorders like depression and anxiety, um, and to work with um, families and loved ones of individuals with eating disorders. You certainly need um, a large institution if you're going to work with acutely ill individuals with eating disorders. You really do need to have um, an integrated treatment team, access to specialized medical care, um, and access to multiple levels of care, so the inpatient, the day hospital, and other intensive outpatient programs. Things to look out for if you're concerned that your loved one might have an eating disorder. Um, rapid uh, or significant weight loss um, over a period of time. Changes in a person's eating habits. So, uh, for example, a child who once loved hamburgers and steaks and everything else um, all of a sudden has become, you know, an extremely strict vegan, um, is limiting a lot of um, the foods that they're willing to eat, um, um, showing sort of rigid behaviors around eating, so only being willing to eat at certain times or um, uh, cutting foods into a lot of pieces. Loved ones and family members have nothing to lose by calling COPE and just running over the symptoms that they're concerned about and asking for advice about what we would consider to be an appropriate next step. Um, most likely that's going to be uh, an evaluation and just learn a little bit more about what's going on and that will allow us to make recommendations accordingly.